Hey bye, this is JMC, and this is a big spoiler alert. So if you do not want to know what happens in 352 of Berserk, stop reading this right now, stop viewing this video right now, and go check it out, man. Oh my god, the most anticipating chapter, in, in my opinion, in manga right now this entire year. We had to wait till June for this, so we're going to get started. Now, this is Korean edition for Berserk, so I'm just going to go by the body language of what's going to happen right now. So therefore, they actually made it to the destination point. Mini Casca looks like she's a little, um, she's, she's really afraid, I'm just so pumped right now. She's afraid, but Farnese calms down, and then all of a sudden, as I said in my last prediction, BOOM! You get the freaking, you get the freaking boss fight right there, we all know who that looks like. <laughs> the representative of Griffith, man. You both see, um, Sarah Kay and Farnese discussing what that is, and they see Hound Guts going crazy, man. Like, he's, like, really, really pissed off. Of course, he's going to be pissed off what he did to Casca. But as you also can see, is that how the Hawk is going right down towards him as Sarah Kay so throws one of her mini goals at him. They actually try to at least obey their attack, but it doesn't. It just tears them to shreds. Oh, my God. God, this is, oh God, man, you have no idea how long I've been waiting for this chapter. But as far as, it's not just him they have to deal with, it's the, it's the represent, representations of the apostles. I'm sorry if I'm slurring my words, man, I'm just so excited. Look how crazy looking this heart, man. And, man, I so I feel so bad for Mini Casca, because you know she's she's repressing these memories, she doesn't want to remember anything at all, and you see Hound Guts, but trying to protect not just her, but for our niece and some, um, Sarah K as well. I almost said Super Cold, man. I'm sorry. But as you can also see, man, that bring out Super, um, Sarah K is just bring out all her magic from her dreams, man. And like I, like I was saying, man, my prediction was talking about there was going to be a boss fight and there was going to bring stuff from the dreams. And I was, I couldn't believe it. I was right, man. But you see them pushing through with the coffin. They're going through it. They don't care. But then Griff, uh, the representative of Griffith's um, in Casca's mind, Gets the co not just gets the coffin, but also gets hound guts as well. And they see him falling, and Farnese brings in for something from her dream, also to protect guts from falling. But also, that's not enough because he comes back and boom, ends up hitting guts again, dude. Just end up wounding him. And as you can see, the coffin's slightly open, so hopefully the doll isn't damaged. But man, dude. When Hound Guts lands on those thorns, man, you're just like, oh man, dude, this is this is not good. But then it just keeps getting better and better and better because in my last prediction, when I was talking about how the um, the helmet of the Berserker armor was gonna play be gonna be part of the big play of this chapter, I was freaking right. I was like, oh my god, this is gonna be insane. I was like. This is so awesome, man. This was this was worth waiting all that time for, and this is like. <laughs> This is like the best Christmas present that Imora, Imora can just give us, man, for everyone who's a fan of Berserk. This is awesome. Dude, look at this. Just look how detailed this is, man. Hound Guts in the Berserker armor. Just look at that, man. Look how vicious this thing's going to look. And then next thing you know it, man, it, 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 from this page, it's unclear. Well, the, the coffin is slightly open, but it's unclear if the chain is still connected to him. It's not because really, we can't really quite see if the chain is connected to Hound Guts because the Berserker armor is actually covered, man. But you just see him charging right through that mess, man. And I was like, I cannot wait to see the carnage he breaks, dude. It's insane. I don't um and it comes out next month and the 26th. Oh my god, this chapter was so beautiful, man. I mean, this is this is but this is definitely bizarre. Kentor Hamora, man. I know you're on high ends a lot, man, but when you come back, dude, you bring it, man. You <laughs> this is just so awesome, dude. And um I will be talking about my predictions for 353 sometime this week, man. But I am so glad I got a chance to see this, man. I know it's Korean distant, and I was just going by the body language by this thing, man. I can't wait to read it in English, man. But, man, even even when you go back to that page, I'm going back to show this page again. Even looking look for the Far East and Sarah K, man, they just couldn't believe that the hound's getting consumed by the Berserker armor, man. It's just... <laughs> Oh, I can't wait to see exactly what's going to happen. It's going to be funny if he pulls a Zoro and puts a, and holds a Dragon Slayer over his mouth, man. <laughs> Stop tearing people up. Bring out the 3,000 worlds and stuff like that, man. But, but still, man, dude. Oh, man. I hope to God we get we get to see the end of this, man. I, I'm, I'm just I'm just praying that Kintaro Mar just holds on to finish up this little mini arc, man. I'm just hoping that we at least get at least a few more months, man, before he goes on our highest hiatus again. I'm just so pumped, man. Let me know what you guys think, man. Oh, <laughs> this is just too awesome. Later.